Hey, kid. Nice ride. Can you race it? <laughs> we'll see about that. Hello and welcome to Good Boys Gone Bland, Season 9, Episode 10.5, State of the Podcast 9. I'm your co-host, Denali. I'm your co-host, Ryan. Are we there yet? <laughs> Dad, we are. are we there yet? We're we're here, son. Uh, we're we almost to the hospital. <laughs> Someone stopped the bleeding um, of our listeners uh, because we're at the end <laughs> of the car season. <laughs> thank God. Folks, uh, thank you for joining us. This is a special episode that we do once a season called State of the Podcast. If you're new... Well, thank you for joining us this far in. Listen into our car season, okay? If, if you want some context. Otherwise, just listen to this one if you don't want to listen to the car season. And you just want to know, you want a quick summary. That's fine. This is like one you of those season to... recaps. <laughs> uh, I like the car season. I think there's some great episodes in there. But if you guys are a bunch of lazy little... Yeah, if you want to go 110 um, through the season, yeah, this is where you want to be. This is the episode. All right, so don't touch that dial. Uh, we're going to go through the car season that we did, kind of talk about our meters and shit like that, debrief on a great season, and then eventually discuss what we're going to be doing for season 10 of Good Boys Gone Bland. Folks, we started this podcast uh, in 2020. I never thought we'd get to a season 10, <laughs> much less to an episode 100. Do, do we enjoy it? Are we sadists? <laughs> Are we behind the scenes ready to kill each other? I mean, at a certain point, it's kind of like a bit. It's just yeah. like, it just keeps going. Uh -huh. It's like a zombie that just it has this inertia that keeps on going. And then if right. we go multiple weeks without doing an episode, I start having dreams about episodes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like watching also, movies. Uh, yeah, when I'm, when I'm picking what movie to watch, I'm like, oh man, I could watch 10 of those. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I can't watch something that, you know is so intense or so weird that it can only be a one-off it has to be something that you know there there can be 10 of because i would go insane we've affected our yeah. lives drastically totally mm. this podcast has become more of like a compulsion or an illness than anything that that we cannot stop doing and folks with your uh patronage this will this will be able to be maintained uh in a healthy way but yeah guys we, we came off of 10 episodes of the garage um, I wanted to kind of get your impressions, uh, you know, the end of the season. How are we feeling about car movies? We watched 10 movies featuring cars. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel? Has it gone bland? It's hard to remember what we've watched. Am I the only one who is like, because yeah. with an actor, you can kind of go like, okay, right. I remember this movie, this movie, they're kind of similar. Yes. Maybe you can kind of like put them in the era of even of their life. Like how old were they? You can kind of mm -hmm. have other like things to remind you of, you know, what you watched. There's no car there's no lineage between each movie with the, a season like this and we had a huge amount of diversity not really necessarily in you know the cast itself but like the uh, uh <laughs> the types of movies white dudes <laughs> yeah. uh and so i couldn't remember uh, quite a few of them and if you were to ask yeah. me right now okay guys can we go through yeah in our brains and come up with the 10 car movies that we watched this season. Unfortunately, well, you have to exclude me because I just did the math on yeah. all of them. So, well, okay. I can, so, I can, uh, can augment this, Ryan, because I did have a bit to accompany. I think we can integrate this. Great. Um, because I, I, what I like to do, we did this in previous seasons, is do impressions of each movie, like in order. Uh, we, oh, we do no. each try to do an impression. So let's try to see if we can name them and oh. then do an impression of the movies we watch, just to kind of give okay. our audience a okay. quick taste so, of so, what... Okay, this is great. Yeah. The first one, uh, it ain't the car, it's the driver. <laughs> car goes sideways. <laughs> <laughs> What's DK stand for? Donkey Kong? <laughs> it's uh, Tokyo Drift. We should have said Tokyo Drift. That's what yeah. we're doing. It's uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Well, the audience can guess. Based yeah, on that's person. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, okay, second one was Turbo Rangers movie. Why did you no, say why that? Why did you say it? Don't say like, it at the, the beginning. I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting it well, out. Yeah. I can't. I, I yeah, didn't. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's uh that's larigo climaxing <laughs> oh my 
God. The, Ryan, do you have one? No, I don't really have one. You took my Larigo. Enjoy your sweet ass cars, teens. <laughs> That's sort on. Uh, okay, it's uh, Mountain Blaster. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Turbo Rangers movie episode three. Well, I just took a fat, stinky shit on the rug again. Sometimes <laughs> oh, that's God. what a man's got to do. <laughs> that's right. Uh, my wife is dead. <laughs> oh, and my <laughs> father-in-law stole my child. Why, God? Why? I think the movie would be better if he had that line exactly <laughs> while on his knees shouting to the heavens. If he showed any personality whatsoever. <laughs> I would I would bump a whole I would bump a full number grade for that for that movie. Uh Art of Racing in the Rain. God, that movie fucking sucked. Uh, okay. Okay, hold uh, on, hold on. What yeah. was give me give me a second to think about what was movie number what was, four. What was four? Okay. This was your pick, Ryan. Was it gone? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa uh, you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the 68 Shelby. Oh, <laughs> I just spent I just spent 20 hours carving this chair. I really <laughs> hope no one bursts in here and breaks it over my back. <laughs> he was a British man. <laughs> what was he? <laughs> He's right up your alley. I thought he was an old guy. You're, you're someone with the most recognizable London accent. You didn't whip it out for this impression. <laughs> Jace, do you have a, a, gone, a gone in 60 seconds? I was gonna do the fucking the car bit too, so oh, you can you, you can talk about fucking the car <laughs> if you want. You can take a swing at it. What um what does Nicholas Cage have a phrase? Eleanor, you are amazing. Oh, El- St- he does not fuck the car. Does he? Is he in the back of his throne a little? Nicholas yeah, Cage? yeah. He, he's he's a little. Oh, Eleanor. Oh <laughs> man, I'm gonna steal that car. That's not bad. Oh, that's, that's really bad, good. The, the Eleanor part was really good. That's not bad, Jace. That's gone in sixty seconds, starring Nicholas Cage. Okay, uh, okay, let's think of the next one. Um, oh, okay. Another one. Uh, oh, I'm gonna fuck that car. <laughs> <laughs> you could do different iterations of that phrase for like six out of ten of these movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, um, Wait, I don't know. What, uh, what was it? Don't, don't tell me. It's, do, do your impression. Okay. <laughs> ah! mm, mm. Oh, okay. From the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Are we just? I'm, is is making a sound from the movie an impression of the movie? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm trying not to be the car. Yeah, I don't. Rem- I don't remember anybody but the car. Wow, you're just like you're just like Arnie. Yeah. Show me. Oh, I, the, the, someone takes a shit on the car. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the guy shitting on the dashboard? Yeah, that's the guy's... Okay. Uh okay, well, what's the next what's the next one? That was Christine. <laughs> oh, oh Christine. Right. That was Christine. Stephen King's Christine. Uh I wonder if this will be recognizable to anybody, any of these movies. Okay, episode six. I I've got this. Oh, another one, but Hong Hong Boing <laughs> Boing. <laughs> 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 Uh, that was Herbie fully loaded. Uh, okay, episode, okay, seven. Quick, wait, let's roll through these. Seven is... Oh, uh, I know what it is, but mm. I don't know my impression. Stop crying. <laughs> Stop crying. There's a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many ca- weird characters in that movie, but I can't think of like a impression yeah, um, to do. The snake oiler. Mm-hmm. Right, let's I'm going, these to, I'm going to beat this car race by driving faster than you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. The iconic line. R.I.P. Snake Oiler. Yeah. Uh, was uh, wasn't there? There was a great. There was a great line about like uh, about driving where he's like, "You don't get behind the wheel of the Mach Six to to drive. It's because you're driven or something." It was it was a good line. All for memory. And Jace, you got one? Um, really don't have one. I don't have an impression yeah, of that one. I just the, kind of have the, just like tough. a. The ri- the rich guy. <laughs> if you really join do. our team, we're gonna pay you a lot of money, and you're gonna win the races. And uh, that, I don't know. That guy just reminds me. Of that's good. That's good. Shitty dog. <laughs> we got one. We got one. Uh, ep- okay. Episode eight. That was so Speed Racer. We did Speed Racer. That's what it was, folks. Episode eight. Oh, I just oh. edited this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bloody hell, you yeah, fucking wanker! You <laughs> <laughs> You've got too much unnecessary weight in the front, and it's causing updraft. That's dude, pretty good. <laughs> dude, you might have found your niche impression. Get off my track. That's Batman uh, racing in Villabon. I'm so sleepy. I'm Give the sleepy. keys to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been racing for 24 hours. I'm sleepy. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, why'd they make this thing so long? <laughs> well, I could have been Not even one hour long anymore. <laughs> My ankle is frozen in this position. <laughs> why isn't the track at least larger? I had to do 600 laps. All my bowels are on one side of my body. Okay, uh, let's, uh, ep- episode nine. All right, that was Ford versus Ferrari. Episode nine is... Oh, there's so many good things. Uh... Ka-chow! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ka-chiga! ka <laughs> That's all you need, really, uh, for that one. Um... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a race car... No, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Ka-chow! Ka-chow! <laughs> kinda hard, to dial a, in it's kind of hard to find <laughs> yourself in there. Ka-chow! Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you just gotta go out there and, like, do it, man. Just, like, be yourself, man. Be myself. Be myself. I don't know if I get there. I can get there. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, you kind of let a, you have to breathe out a lot, man. Was he like this when he was a child? Talking to his parents, like, Mom, you know what? You, you know, I don't, I don't need it, man. I don't need all this funny business, man. I just made poopy in my pants. Mom? <laughs> wow. Okay. Timmy made pee-pee in his pants. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot. That, that's uh, okay, episode those 10. Cars. I'm editing. No, wait, we got episode 10. Episode 10. We have to say the name of the movie. Curry. Oh, it's Cars. It's Cars. I thought you were saying, and that that's folks, cars. is that's the Cars. Car season. This season. We're done. Um, Did we watch 10? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 10. Um, this one's hard because there's like a lot of obvious ones, you know? <laughs> that's, that's the sand. Hey. Uh, you guys want to come hang out with me and my milk farm? <laughs> Can I come even though I don't have a nose? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eat bullet, bro. You guys got any oat milk? No. Nope. <laughs> Is this organic? Milk disagrees with my stomach. Yesterday I saw three oats. Make a glass, maybe. <laughs> three oats. Uh, I think that's I think I, I think that's good. I think yeah, that's good. I, the, I think the trouble with that is that like you it's don't his, want I don't want to do like one of the main characters. Yeah, you, you don't want to. <clears throat> you don't need to do a witness. I think. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, my my name my, my name is Mark. It's, it's Max. It's Max. I fucking hated that scene so much. <laughs> I fucking hated that scene I do think so much. It was so bad. that was a little overacted. It was a little overacted where he's like. He stutters so much, he's like, it's... it's imagine, imagine if he was like, my name is Max. <laughs> Perhaps you're wondering why my name is Max. <laughs> we, did, we did that last time. We did, we did, we did that. that. We, we did, did we did the bit. Okay, but the people don't listen to every episode. We don't know. Well, we don't know if they missed our, our pain bit. Okay, that's great. Great bits, that guys. That was Mad great Max Fury Road. That was Mad Max <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, that was painful. <laughs> That's uh, we did like the sad. We we were doing the sad thing that improv or Im- impressions comedians do, where they do the impression. The audience gives nothing, and they're like, "That <laughs> like, was Don- Johnny Carson." That's very uh, similar to the skit that you were in for. Wait, which I think you should leave. Oh oh the <laughs> the, the, sh- the charades guy. Yeah, but like the the charades guy. It's he, a yeah, break. He <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um, great guys, that was a great encapsulation of our season. <laughs> If any of those impressions, you know, piqued a little interest, perhaps take a gander at any of those episodes. There's like three or four episodes. I mean, I think the car yeah. season is a great one to listen to for movies that you have seen, right? Because mm-hmm. like, I think so. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of right. seeable because movies in there. In, in as, let's say we're watching ten Ben Affleck movies and we're watch a couple shitters. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You're, you're, it's still kind of fun to listen to the episode because we can talk about the weird things Ben Affleck did and hey guys haha don't watch this movie it's really terrible but here's what Ben did in this movie yeah with the car movies you're kind of like yeah this one really fucking sucked and <laughs> you should not watch it it was three hours long <laughs> I think for the most part though a lot of those car movies are movies that are pretty fucking popular like I don't think we were kind of digging into obscurity yeah. that often with the car season yeah I agree. um multiple people have asked me if we watched the art of racing in the rain what the f- i don't understand <laughs> that at all because even kaimi every now and then will be like i can't believe i went to jace's house that one weekend <laughs> the best part is that we never we didn't invite him onto the show i know to, that to poor bastard for that episode <laughs> Listen, friendship uh, comes at a cost, okay? Yeah. And his <laughs> payment was watching that movie. Every friendship should cost something. So, uh, and, and for us, it's this podcast. But for, as far as this season goes, has it gone bland? Are, could you guys watch more car movies? How do you guys feel 
about it. I think like, I'm more pro car movie now than I was at yeah. the beginning of the season. I kind of, okay. If someone asked me before, do you want to watch a car movie? I'd be like, fuck no, I'm not coming over. Right. But right now I'd be kind of like, yeah, I've, I've seen a couple. Maybe yeah. it might not, might not be fun. bad. I don't know. It's like, kind of fun to point out the stupid stuff they have in common. Or like when you, yeah. these are movies where this season was full of movies where you can sit with someone on the couch and point at the screen and talk right yeah yeah about like what's happening and like oh Oh. and make fun of it some other movies are like there's no car movies that are like super super serious and also bad except for art of racing in the rain so like it i don't know (laughs) it's kind of fun i don't know this this season was really kind of fun do you agree jace what what do you you feel um i think uh, racing movies could be could be fine but Overall, I think I've gotten to the end of every season and been like, wow, that was bland. This one? <laughs> yeah. Is... It was a lot of variety, I think, situationally. It was, yeah. So I think I'll probably be more content with this than some of our some of our actor seasons. Like, I really gained an appreciation for Sean William Scott, but I am not, like, finding myself going to his small... <laughs> I never want to see one again. <laughs> and see, like, watching his movies. But, you know, if yeah. a car movie is on, yeah. Huh? okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, going from Cars, like the movie Cars, to Mad Max, it, that was refreshing. That wasn't like a, oh, fuck, here we go again thing. <laughs> There's a completely different vibes. I think this, this season benefited from that. Um, but we did get a lot of Vroom Vrooms. And, you know, I think more exposure to Vroom Vrooms in movies, it's kind of like... You know when you see someone like peeling out on the road in a loud ass like Mustang and you're like fucking douchebag whatever like <laughs> that is having less of an effect on me oh. now cuz I see it in yeah, movies I'm like, and I'm, I'm like, like I'm like go off <laughs> when um when we were in California on yeah. in the 8th of December of last month um mm-hmm. we were driving on the highway and a yeah. dude on a motorcycle is going 70 and he's perched mm-hmm. on his motorcycle in a lane nobody in front of him or behind him we're kind of like 40 50 feet back and he's just completely yeah. turned around and he's looking behind Wait. him and we're like okay uh he's sitting backwards he's not sitting backwards he's like turned okay. he's got like one hand on i don't even know if he oh, had I his see. hands on the I wheel see. but he's like looking way back yeah. down the highway and we're like he's gonna pull some shit isn't he so we're like <laughs> we're like oh, uh, get over get over get the car over yeah. and then we so we get the car over he's got a full got lane like a turtle shell like he comes back to us yeah. He looks into our car and then he pulls a wheelie oh. and drives. He's going he's going 70, 80 miles an hour and is yeah. just holding this wheelie looking at our car like <laughs> Oh and uh, that was the most car season thing that I think that has happened to me during the season <laughs> and also ever. So I love that he looked back and was like, you ready for this? <laughs> Woo! And he tried to like get you involved <laughs> with the cool thing he was doing. Like I love the the aspect that he he was looking for an audience for the cool thing. Uh, that's amazing. Is he okay? Did he make it? He made it, and then he was like he was like I don't know if he was like driving. We saw him like six more times. We turned into the city, and then he was yeah. like ripping down streets. And you know I I know it's a motorcycle, but I I feel like they have to yeah. have you know the same brain, the same lizard brain yeah. activation happens when you see something like that. Did, that. did we get any motorcycles? In this season, or did we did we stay kind of pretty clear? We stayed. Pr- oh, no, we had, uh, Mad Max. Mad, dirt bikes. It was a motorcycle gang. Uh, it looked pretty cool. Like seeing a different type of wheeled vehicle vehicle in Mad Max did kind of get me excited. Open possibilities there. Hopefully, none of us are pitching motorcycle season. <laughs> this season. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I was also wondering. Like we've seen so many car movies. I was wondering if we could put together the ultimate car movie. Pitch something out of all the information that we gleaned. Can we create something that is that is the ultimate car movie that'll that'll get a ten out of ten on the meter and maybe a ten out of ten on the movie meter too? Something for to pitch the studios. I live near a lot of studios here. I can I can just you know roll up and be like, listen, I got something. I think for an important aspect for me was the bookends of the movie. Yeah. If the intro is about racing, yeah, and the outro is about racing, like that's a car movie. Think about the very first movie we watched. Okay. Uh, Tokyo Drift. It opens with him at a high school racing cars, and it ends with him racing Vin Diesel. Race, okay. And there's in the final act it needs to have some sort of like race, but yeah. it, there can be an epilogue with like a like a kind of like a romantic kind of sign off. 
Okay. It's about car. So that's my It needs to two rhyme. Cents, it needs to have is poetry. Bookends. Maybe starring Milo Ventimiglia question mark? Ooh, I don't know. As I you guys don't like you didn't like his <laughs> I think he seems like a car guy. Like I think car guys will like that's him. That's the guy he was in Art of Racing of the Art of Racing in the Rain. And Heroes. He's Peter Petrelli. Great oh, nobody gives a great, shit great about series. heroes. He's in great what is it? The bigger series of that. This is us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. a main he's, character he's, in he's that. He's the lead of that. Yeah. You, you guys don't like Milo? What, who would be a better casting? Who's who's someone who encapsulates car movies in the essence? You know, like I was really hoping to have Sean William Scott on the front of one of these. Yo, hmm. hold on, hold the fuck on. We had dude, where's my car? Okay. But you know, he kind of like and, imagine like a goon, but with cars. No, no, this would work because. I'm so, when you when you imagine Sean William Scott in a Fast and Furious movie, I think it's seamless. Right. It's like you see him in a movie, boom, you're there. So I think Sean William Scott, we can put him in the driver's seat. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the what's the conflict? Um, loses. I like the loses car, and then okay. uh, gains <laughs> a new one yeah. and has to like right. rebuild it because it's like a it's like a building of the self. Yeah, you need, you you need know, to build. You're pouring. How your about this? Pour. He gets in. He gets in over his yeah, head. Like that. There's the first. We have the first race at the beginning. Okay. He gets in over his head. It's kind of built up. He's this great racer. He's got this awesome car. He's, you know, put a hundred grand and mods in it, and everybody yeah. knows him. Kind of like the intro to Fast and the Furious the original. Okay. He and he races for pink slips, and he loses to oh, some yeah, yeah. some He's... newcomer into the scene. Yeah. And, then and then he gets another car, and he has to figure out how to squeeze blood from a stone. And then, once again, it's not the car, it's the driver. Mm-hmm. It's the driver. doesn't so matter what he has else. to go on that journey as well and get over the fact that it doesn't matter how good the car is. Like, don't blame the car. It's like, about, it's, get a good it's car. Like, make your car great. But then you're the one who has to win the race. Is he in high school? Is he, he can be in high school. Is, is he in high school? We can we can cast 40-year-old high schoolers Okay, okay, okay. In car like movies. this. Um, you know this is if if we're talking about making the big bucks at the box yeah. office the car junkies do love reliving their high school days <laughs> <laughs> we'll do well he's in high school but okay so like he's he, it's the driver but his car is alive what like his car has a soul i got it i got it i got it i got it that's fine we can keep all this we can keep everything okay, okay. enter the dragon but with cars Wait, so he's he's going. There's a, up a rich racing? guy who <laughs> okay. takes a bunch of the best racers. No, okay, and okay. Brings them to an island with their cars. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. He lost his great car. He doesn't have his great car, but he was still invited. Isn't he this lost like, it isn't before that they Balls left. of Fury? N- yes, but this <laughs> yes, is Balls of cars. Fury. Is... Got it. Okay, now I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pistons of Fury. That. This yeah. So we'll call it Cars of Fury. Yes. Could uh and... could could he be instead of being the the in high school? Could he be the garage teacher? Like the, oh, the shop, shop teacher? The shop we had teacher. one of those in Christine. So washed up shop teacher is... Who is races on enters, the weekends. Race, race, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'm kind of on board. Okay. So. Okay. He gets so invited to yeah. some... He gets some golden invitation. And it says, bring your car to the docks at some night for a chance to become the world's best racer. But he loses his car. So he shows up with a, you know, we, we have that whole thing. He shows up with a junker. Uh, they go on the boat and everything. There's a race on the boat. Mm-hmm. Um, and they get to the island. It's a, it's a couple tracks. There's a couple different tracks on the island. And they're all like kind of, they're all their cars are stored in like the same garage. Or maybe they have their own garages. Okay. The same area of the compound. And they all like stay in the same castle. And there's kind of like a real world, MTV's yeah. real world sort of like thing yeah, where they're like, living bickering. with each other. And also, the guy who he lost his car to is there, racing good. his car, his old car. A lot of, a lot of spicy drama there. I like that. He definitely Maybe the car was repainted yeah. too. He repainted his. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. that'll that'll fire the audience up to like an, an it, olive. It green. looks like Hulk. It looks like Hulk's inside oh, yeah. of it. Yeah, and Hulk's all <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> so it's it's modded to look like the Hulk car from Tokyo Drift, and then. Maybe the ghost of his dead dad is the soul <laughs> in his car that, and he uses that connection to win races. His his junker because his dad exploded in a previous race on the island in a previous competition. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. But then, what's, oh, what's the reveal? The guy who then, runs the, the whole thing is his dad. Is his dad? Yes. Is his dad? There was no soul in the car. Yes. It was him all along. Dude, write this shit down. Write this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Stoked. Let's go. To, dude. We're gonna have to transcribe this from from the audience. Okay, <laughs> audience. TM. 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 We already TM, fucking TM, wrote TM, it down. TM. TM. It's, it's our screenplay. TM, it's TM is trademark, guys. You're, you're talking about copyright. Copyright. Okay. Copyright. 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 
by the time this airs, us three are going to be fucking billionaires. Billions. Billions with we'll a B. It, I'm uh, really stoked. That's 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 amazing. We'll call it Enter the Wagon or <laughs> Cars of Fury. <laughs> Do we get to choose? You know? I think Enter the Wagon is a great tagline so we don't get sued yeah. ourselves for copyright. That's true. That's true. Mm. We'll call it like something like Car Island, Enter the Wagon. And I feel like if we came to Sean William Scott... He would say yes so fucking fast. In a heartbeat. Fast. <laughs> He'd be like, say no more. You had me enter the wagon. Say less, kings. <laughs> I feel like an action comedy with this as a premise would be so fucking sick. There's also kung fu in the background. You know There's, it. There is kung fu. Um, and Sean William Scott already knows kung fu. Like, he's, he's, it'll, he, see, it'll yeah. be seamless. How many fights are we going to put in? That's the kind of question Wait. you have to ask yourself when you put kung fu into a movie. Yeah. He gets beat up at the end of the... Race at the beginning. That's kind of a half yeah. fight. There's a mm-hmm. fight on the boat, maybe. Uh, he stops a, a fight in a cool way there. in the garage at the school. Yeah. Oh, he stops yeah, a wrench a with his bare hands yeah. when, when two kids are fighting. Boom. He's called Iron Hands. But like, I think usually when there's a final fight or a final race, there's always something wrong. So I think before the final race, he gets the shit beat out of him, right? And his fingers are broken. He can't grab the steering <laughs> wheel, right? So he's just using he's, his palms he's on his using hands. his knees. <laughs> he's using his knees. And so he has to steer in this fucking racetrack, in this mountain race, with his knees. For 24 hours. <laughs> it's a 24-hour race. <laughs> and he has diarrhea. <laughs> and there's a t- yeah, all over the rug. <laughs> yeah, he, so he gets, he's, he's, in, he's in the 24-hour race. He has diarrhea and two broken hands, and he is trying to finish the race, and he wins. I'll, I'll be honest, you had me on on your script um, until the last two pages. <laughs> what? You get, we, uh, it's a buffet. A you don't know how long it's... that shrimp's been out. <laughs> shrimp in 130 degree moist heat? Are you kidding me? Every, ooh, here's a clarification. It, it's, it's not in the liner notes, but like everybody has diarrhea. Yes, yes, and It's yes. not just you. You're dealing yeah. with his journey yeah. with the diarrhea. Great ad placement for Pepto Bismol. We're trying to Boom. think of the consumers. Sponsorships. Yes, yes. It's seamless. Mm-hmm. I like it. They're also paying your fee, so don't, <laughs> don't <laughs> so make sure to, don't botch don't those lines. Say maybe make it look like it's delicious when you're drinking it. Um, no gagging. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do another take of that, Sean. There's a, <laughs> like you that. There's a Pepto sex scene. <laughs> People are doing Pepto body shots. Yes. <laughs> are you recording a is podcast? This... <laughs> what are you is, doing? This... <laughs> is this before the diarrhea? <laughs> the billionaire. They have time. The they have He's time. The... He's the CEO of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a Willy Wonka's island of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> you might be wondering why you're all here and why you river. all have diarrhea <laughs> on a river, a pink river, Pepto Bismol. You see, this whole place is made of food, but it's contaminated with E. coli. So it's just been out here in the desert sun in the for South China weeks. Sea. <laughs> But there's an unlimited amount of Pepto here because I'm the Pepto CEO. We got the we got the leftovers from Survivor. It doesn't matter. (laughs) No fridges. There's nothing. Come with me. You will see liquid shit leaving your body. (laughs) Our plumbing doesn't work. It doesn't matter if it mixes in. Goes right in the ocean. That ocean where you've been swimming. Our tracks are made of hardened Pepto. <laughs> it's like, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's antacids that are just like like little tongues. <laughs> I'm Peppy Pepto, and I love racing. <laughs> That's your name, Sean. <laughs> okay. okay, we're done. This is done. <laughs> <sighs> we, we, we were like slow to get going, and then it just like rapidly <laughs> in, like it just, just expanded like a balloon. <laughs> and the funny thing is, we had like a real plot for... Like a good movie. You did. And then, <laughs> for, yeah. <laughs> went, okay, 30% of that. We're cutting it. Something we're, in there. We're making we'll, a screenplay. Okay, that sounds great. Copyright, uh, copyright, copyright. Um, yeah, 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 Let us know what you think of that if you'd watch it. Uh, you want to do the meters real quick? Yeah. We're getting we're a little, we're a little, Ryan, we're you're a little you're the, you know how to click the meter link. I don't. I just open it. We're going to go through Oh, I got to close my tabs. Accelerometer folks mm. um which is the measure of how car movie each car movie was 
uh, one through ten thousand RPMs, and we'll just we'll just take a look. We'll take a look at how many of these movies fit our criteria. Can you see this? Yes, we can. All right. What? Oh my God! Holy shit! Our accelerometer is redlining so, for the entire. <laughs> so let's go into yeah the meters and describe them for the people who can't see. So we have like, like every episode we have. Two different meters. One, how strongly does this movie correspond to the theme chosen for that season? And then, how good is the movie? Um, I think what we found is that there hasn't been a strong correlation between them, especially in the seasons like like these thematic seasons. Sometimes when you commit to a bit so hard, the movie actually does not end up being very good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or when you involve a dog in the process. <laughs> so dog is always uh, three notches down automatically so this what we're looking at here is that first off on top we have a a graph of the accelerometer that's how car was each car movie and what you will find on it is that we had yeah six movies yeah that were rated 10 out of 10 by both of you guys fucking insane and then Uh, three that were rated 10 out of 10 by all three of us so three omnitrixes uh, and then I was duped last week when I gave Mad Max Fury Road a 10 out of 10, expecting that you guys would also, oh, and you didn't. Oh, you fucking clown. <laughs> we got him that time, Jace. <laughs> there was sand uh, in the intake. It couldn't rev all the way up to 10,000. I don't know. You know, it's just... Uh, well, but it's it? kind of interesting because uh, we have these m- couple movies down at the bottom, Turbo, Power Rangers, and Art of Racing in the Rain, that were decidedly pretty much like not really car movies. We were all on board with giving Art of Racing in the Rain a four, so that has a four, but yeah. Turbo has like a one. Turbo, I was not expecting it to be so low. Like, if you're looking about, this is Power Rangers, and their whole thing is that they have fucking car Megazords. You would think that's like very car-oriented mm-hmm. just thematically, but it gave us absolutely nothing in that regard yeah. uh, and in the other regard because the movie was so fucking bad. Those are the only two movies that received a score lower than five from anybody. Yeah, and and then they did from all of us. That's so weird. The rest of these get a passing, at least, you know, if it's yeah. like grades, passing score for being a car movie, seventy and above. I would. There was um. When, what did we start out with? We started out with Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which hit really hard. We were like, wow, this yeah. is this is car movie as hell. I think the movies that were on brand for car movies for the accelerometer were all ten k. And the one thing that I'd like to point out here. We don't have this data on the graph uh, because it's okay. a little bit difficult. But, you know, uh, a, a shout out here and a thank you to Trevor, Michael and Ian. This is uh, the most oh, guests yes. we've ever had in a season. We had three guest oh, episodes. Yes, that's right. And um, Trevor visited us for Christine. Uh, Michael watched Herbie fully loaded with us and Ian stopped by for Speed Racer. And they gave for RPMs. Uh, Christine was a 10 for Trevor. Michael gave her be fully loaded a nine for a speed racer. Ian was was sitting at a seven. So so they were in we, yeah we, in agreement. Yeah, yeah we brought him in on heavy scores. car movies. Yeah, and there's so like essentially that says to us the guests weren't like what are you guys talking about you're crazy (laughs) these aren't car movies yeah and it's nice to see that we had so much passenger space for this season and i i want to do more uh guest shows if we can um and if you guys want to come back and and review more movies we're down too i mean can we look can we think we're looking at the 10 out of 10s here right like the you know fast and furious tokyo drift ford versus ferrari gone in 60 seconds is there any of these that's like the tenniest of ten? Like, would you say yeah, it was the most out? car movie? I think out of every everything on here. I think, um, in my opinion, like Gone in sixty seconds is about cars because you're stealing cars. Ford versus Ferrari is literally about car racing. Mm-hmm. It's the most racing yeah. movie we had. But Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift is literally about a guy who's addicted to racing. That's that's why he's sent to Tokyo is because he can't stop racing. And as yes. soon as he gets there, like the first day, he starts racing. My butt, though, is that Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift doesn't have, like, a distinct car. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ford versus Ferrari is about a car that you can name Fair. and that's being built, right? It's the, the story of this car. Mm-hmm. And I think that kind of edges it out a little bit for me because we mentioned in Tokyo Drift, and you know, I might edge the car meter down a little bit for that one in retrospect because it could have been anything. I don't like, know. It those been a Zs, sport. man. Oh, my God. And the Hulk the, car? Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think, th- like, thematically speaking, they're both in the realm of car movies, but they're definitely satisfying different portions of it. And I think that Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift is just so important for us as, like, car people 
because it came out at a very important age. We watched it and it like kind of gave a lot of us our first yeah. take at a lot of those super, a lot of supercars and a lot of yeah. really cool cars. But yeah, I would agree that in Ford versus Ferrari, I would, I would say that the driver of Le Mans, Batman, <laughs> Christian Bale, yeah. uh, you know, he was kind of addicted to cars too. Like his, his, yeah, his, his wife was like, you got to tell me what you're fucking doing. Are, are you racing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> But I mean, I think it's it's suffice it to say, like, we've had a lot of really car fucking movies in here. Like, we cannot argue that, like, we didn't go hard enough. Here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, this it, was it can't be said that. Yeah, yeah. this was the most ca- This was the most thematic season, mm-hmm. I think, is what this graph shows, because sometimes we try to push the boundaries. We try to see, like, what is a car movie by watching some car movies that maybe are really not right. They may be kind of borderline, yeah. but, but pretty much every fu- car movie is a car movie. Like, they all go hard. Pedal to the metal the whole fucking season. Oh, that's nice. You want to okay. do uh, movie meters, Ryan? Yeah. I would, um, before we switch over, I think I'd probably yeah. put, if I had to go top three, I'd go Gone in 60 Seconds, Fast and Furious, and then Ford versus Ferrari at one. For what? Oh, yeah, at, at one. I think I agree with that, yeah. And, uh, man, I'm, Christine, I think I need to rewatch. That's, that's going to be in my rotation. It's going to be in my Halloween I just, rotation. That's just a good movie. Yeah. Just I like rocks. that. I think Christine and Speed Racer are just my favorite movies of this season. Just because they were first watches for me. I was just so shocked by them. Okay, let's go over. Ooh, a little grapevine action going on here. Okay, now we're looking at the Cars movie meter. So this is actually about how much we liked the movies. And this is kind of the opposite. (laughs) There's a clear separation. Like we have a full spectrum. We have movies way down on the bottom and they're the same poo. And then we have movies way up at the top. Um, Do you guys notice any patterns here? I mean, the less car it was, the less we liked it, I think. Like you had Turbo and you had Art of Racing the Rain in the bottom. We put those at the bottom of our car meters. And the highest shit, like we're looking at Ford versus Ferrari, Mad Max Fury Road. I mean, I guess Speed Racer, we didn't do as high, but I mean, uh, you know, I think yeah. it's, it's, there's a slight... We won't be upset if you have a lot of cars in it, I guess is it, right? Like, if it's a if it's a full bore blaster, uh, we're not going <laughs> to throw it in the trash. I think, I think the yeah. the lowest of these movies, uh, if I were to, to think about them um, in a specific way, the lowest five have... I think quite a lot lower production value than the top five. If we just think about Cars, Christine, Speed Racer, Mad Max Fury Road, and Ford vs. Ferrari, mm-hmm. the people putting them on versus Art of Racing the Rain, Are Turbo, you? Herbie Fully Loaded, Gone in 60 Seconds, Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. Like they... Are you suggesting Turbo didn't have the same budget as Mad Max Fury Road? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that artistically, even if they did have the same budget, they would have made some ter- yeah. Power Rangers choices. So... Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine injecting Turbo Power Rangers movie with the budget of Mad Max Fury Road and that the practical effects? That would probably, effects? yeah, be pretty similar, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't is think this the, the highest? Scenes have changed. Is this the highest per movie colon rate that we've had? So I colon think colon rate. What do you? What are you so talking about? So I think there, about, there's right? also there's a colon in Herbie and a colon in Mad yeah. Max. It's not oh my god! Oh right, right. The most colons. There's a lot of colons. I think you're probably right. If they had been spelled correctly, it would be abundantly clear. And it's definitely <laughs> true. Four colons. When yeah, else have we had colons? Even in the disaster season, there wasn't a lot of subtitles. Like title, subtitle. Some, yeah, there's there's colons missing in here. Like um, the art of racing, colon, in the rain. There is gone, colon, in 60 seconds. Ka, col- colon, ours. Uh, Chris, colon, teen. But there's, yeah, there's like, there's a bunch in here for sure. I think maybe it's an explanation of they want something kind of like snappy you know there's a couple that are part of a series but then also like they they want something snappy so then turbo okay that doesn't really explain what the movie's about so they go oh a power rangers movie don't worry it's a power Power rangers (laughs) (laughs) and like uh and things like that the it's hard to convey the plot of a movie which is some car related term I agree, and the colon seems like a cop out. I don't like colons in movies. I usually think that's movies gonna be fucking bad if they're already like kind of backpedaling with the title. That's what like, I'm pitching, and, and it's about this. Uh, it's uh, yeah. I'm um, I'm pitching explanatory colon movies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite movie of the season? Oh man, I think for me the my favorite out of nowhere is Christine. Mm, yeah, that Christine movie Bucky really slapped. surprised me as like a horror slasher head, but. Ford versus Ferrari did as well, but I knew that was going to be probably pretty good. But I, w- it was better than I thought it was going to. I, I don't give out tens very lightly, and that ga- I give that mm-hmm. a ten. That movie was excellent. I'll just say that it didn't 
edge out my favorite. I think Speed Racer had all the full package. It had like the visuals, but then it had the allegory, the anti-capitalist allegory, but also the ar- artistic allegory about like, you know, artistic purity in the face of everything. And I don't know. I think that was the full package for me. I didn't expect it to hit like that. When I think about a lot of the movies that are power packed and they're up here, they're just not things that I want to like regularly watch mm. um specifically because they're so long i mean even even speed <laughs> racer so like one of the like middling movies like fast and furious tokyo drift that was like that i gave a six but i think is a bit shorter than some of these ones in the top four you know it, it might be my my favorite my go-to that might be the one that i'm like i was a little bit critical of it but it's the one that i'm gonna pick out of this this batch interesting i mean I think that's fair, and we didn't mention this earlier, but like, this was the long movie length wise. This season was insane. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a season that should be about going fast, and everything was topping off at like two plus hours. That was another <laughs> aspect. So, Jace, I kind of agree with that. Uh, cool. So, yeah, there's the movie meter, folks. I'll post this on YouTube so you guys can take a look. Maybe I'll post it on uh, Instagram if I remember. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for handling the stream. And folks at home, if you disagree with our meters, too fucking bad, because we're not changing them. We're not, we already did them. But, uh, folks, it's time to put the garage in the rear view mirror, so to speak, and drive on to the next racetrack. Um, oh, what's this? A uh, garage door opener I found. Oh, look. Uh, we're there, guys. Papa. We can get out of the car. It was in the 10th movie the whole time. I've had to pee guys, over. I, we got to start watching the 10th movie first. 12 hours. <laughs> But I haven't seen some of these, and they've been on my list forever. I like to imagine we're watching them on an in-car entertainment system. <laughs> Ooh, God, that's the worst way to see a movie. Bring those back. <laughs> so much car sickness. Thank I had my, I had one in my minivan mm-hmm. in college. Did you watch it while driving? I, I think mean, it was for the passengers, but for the passengers, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I flipped the screen around so I could watch it in my rear view camera. <laughs> rear view. <laughs> My grandpa, who uh, who's Korean, he lives in Korea. He used to be a taxi driver, and he's like the most manic yet extremely professional driver I've ever seen. He can like thread a needle with a car. Um, he has like my uncle hold like an iPad or like an iPhone for him to stream like Korean soap operas while he's driving, like in front of his face while driving. <laughs> and it's the most, it's the funniest scene I've ever seen. There's a there's a good there's a good meme about that about like vehicles in the U.S. and it's like no screens whatsoever, and then cars. <laughs> In Asia, like the taxi drivers yeah. in Japan have four or five screens going on <laughs> yeah. all around them in, in the regular ones. And then they have TVs on the back of the headrests, you know, that everybody's listening to and they're playing ads. Yeah. And it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, folks, it's done. We did it. We exercised this demon. The car season is over unless someone pitches it again. Okay. <laughs> and so now, <laughs> for this few minutes of bliss that we have, we are done with the car season and now it is time for the three of us to consult the wheel of chaos and pitch our seasons bring forth our offerings for season 10 oh we each mm. get two pitches and and we we bring them forth we we set we we tell them to the others and and that's all we can do really the rest is up to the fates now ryan has gotten three pitches in a row this has been the year of ryan i think <laughs> Sorry, it's actually been like a year and a half of my movies. It has been 1.5 years since we've had a non-Ryan season, but for Ryan, it was like 2.5 years before that, uh, before he had a season. So, um, Ryan, you're like the you're like the Chicago Bears. You had a nice a nice little run here, but uh, yeah, I guess do you, did you guys have pitches prepared? Yeah, somewhat. Jace, your face is making me so nervous. My first pitch um, is somewhat deranged, and you used okay. some verbiage in there that kind of yeah aligns with you know oh god okay um jace do you want to go first do you want to say your first pitch and we can go in a circle sure okay my first pitch oh my god it does have offerings okay every sunday my first pitch oh my god <laughs> is priest movies oh my god <laughs> oh no <laughs> movies such as priest from 2011 <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the cars. Everybody's a priest. Oh, my God. Movies, maybe, such as Signs? I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. You could, we could watch Signs. Movies Holy such shit. as Machine Gun Preacher? I don't Maybe The <laughs> Nun? I don't know. The Exorcist? Oh, God. Um, oh, oh, my God. God. You know? Uh, Velocipaster. Velocipaster. Nacho Libre. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. You know? I don't Dude, know. Dude, let's watch priest movies. Shut priest it down. Movies. 
we're gonna get struck by lightning <laughs> this season <laughs> and it, no taking the lord's name in vain if we do that season that, that whole season <laughs> Jace, we, we were jokingly discussing this for weeks, and it makes me so happy and terrified that you actually pitched it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we, don't, we didn't say it's non-denominational priest. It could be any any type of priest. Uh, well, we can call it the chapel or the confession booth. I don't know what season of The Witch is, but it's on here, and it's got Nicolas Cage it. in it, and oh it's my God. action movies about priests, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> I like that there's so many. Like, why? So like, why does Hollywood get- keep making them? That's what we were talking about. We were like, where the fuck? Who's the audience? And like, oh, I want to see the new Priest movie. <laughs> <laughs> because like priests, it can't be priests. Because like that's the whole thing. It's like all these priest movies are kind of like subversive. It's like yeah. ironic because they're doing other things. And priests don't like that. <laughs> it's a great I, I think, topic. I remember, is it? Wait, is it so the opposite good. of car movies? Where Kai, car guys only watch car yeah. movies, but priests... Priest guys, priest priest don't. Priest, <laughs> but priest guys like it. Priest guys like priest mm. movies, but priests don't like yeah. priest movies. Priest movies are kind of anti-priest. We'll discuss it in our priest meeting. Hey, is there a priest <laughs> movie where it's just a the day, a day in the life of a priest? Here's the other thing too. It's not sacrilegious because if we put it on the wheel of chaos and it selects it, it's, it's like God. God. Yeah, it's God wanted us to do it. Okay. Um. Uh, great. Uh. Brian. Yeah. Uh. So I, I've won the last three, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I think... I've been waiting for the apology. Part of, my, you, Ryan. part of my problem is that, like, I've been given good suggestions. So it's okay if they get picked. Sean Williams got, I'm sorry. But, like, uh, Disaster was good. I like yeah, Sean Williams Cars was pretty Scott. good. I did. I, I used him earlier as a reference, but that was just because I couldn't think of any other, other seasons I we've done. <laughs> we had fun in those seasons. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go... I'm gonna tempt maybe the gods that be. Um, and oh, what's that? Is it an is it a is it a nice quiet country night? Okay. My favorite thing about visiting the country, and my and like especially my grandma's house, you know, yeah. laying there. Uh, you guys have both been there, like overlooking that farmland and the river and everything like that at night. Oh, the stars mm-hmm. are out. You know, you're sipping a little sweet tea, and the the the, the animal life kind of you know comes out, and and you can really. You can really hear it. There's not the hustle and bustle of the day. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. There's crickets for sure. But the the main feature is ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And I think we should watch 10 frog movies. Oh my. What the we, fuck? We what did dog movies. About? Let's do frog <laughs> movies. What the fuck? We got are you frog movies about? like Frog Dreamin'. Uh, there's one That's called not Frog. A movie. That's not a there's movie. There's one called Frogs. There's another one called Hell Comes to Frog Town. We got uh, The Princess and the Frog, if you want one that's actually oh. good. Okay, okay. Yeah, we have Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia. We have like uh, Scooby-Doo either. Curse of the Lake Monster. Is there a frog in there? And there's some, there's Kermit. There's Kermit's Swamp Years. <laughs> oh, yes, my favorite frog actor. There's some Muppet movies, guys. <laughs> So is this the terrarium or is it or is it like the, I the think, lily uh, pad? The swamp is pretty good. The swamp. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, what, what I love no. about this too is like God, they're like, no. oh, what are you guys doing for your season ten special? Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> ten frog movies. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's 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 like a you're you're talking to a kid and they're like. Hey man, what what have you been doing in school? What's your favorite frog subject? Movies? Frogs. <laughs> I like frogs. Oh, I like frog movies. I'm not even gonna capitalize it when I put it on the wheel. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, guys, one of us has got to pitch something good. <laughs> um, well, I'm just gonna cut straight to. It. I'm gonna pitch nun movies. Uh, movies like The Nun. Are you serious? Uh, th- no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, that would be hilarious. No, but um, I I'm I'm gonna pitch in, in some words these these movies these these movies are gonna suck all right because I'm, I'm pitching vampires uh, oh. I think I thought you were gonna say vacuums kind of... <laughs> <laughs> pitching the <laughs> in keeping with with I guess the opposite okay. of priest he just wants to watch Twilight I want to watch I think he Twilight. wants to watch Van Helsing uh, I don't think yeah there's so many good sexy vampire movies oh, out I there watch Twilight uh, Blade Three there's there's Blade Blade Three I think there's a Blade 2 in between there, Underworld, From the Lost Boys. 
uh, Daybreakers, Dust Till Dawn. There's a lot of fucking bangers in here. I think these movies are, are, stretch the I, whole spectrum. I Am Legend? Yeah. Question mark? Uh, maybe? I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a, we there, maybe yeah. we can, add, we can um, explore. But I think this will be a rich vein, so to speak. Ooh. And, uh, I mean, it, it could be a whole-ass podcast in itself. There's Lost hundreds boys. and hundreds of iconic vampire movies. We can call it The Coven, The Cave, The Coffin, uh, Vampire Via, Vampire Villa. What maybe. we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. Oh, so good. Can we just watch I the TV show? We can. Yeah, we can watch just the TV show. Uh, but I think we'll have a lot to pick from here. Um, that's good. That's my pitch. You could have went with like a. Oh, Discord. Oh, like, I did a creaking like. like, like ah. Oh, that would have been good on the video oh, too, because you would have disappeared and then. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could be like for my next. Damn it. For my next pitch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right jace what's your second pitch um if it's nuns i'm disconnecting I've, I've got a lot going through my mind because i didn't okay. really solidify this one like okay i don't know like i've been thinking like about dinosaurs and about dragons hell yes hell yes, about, hell yes please <laughs> um but also somebody who's kind of hot and like has been pretty in the limelight and i feel like how, how long has it been since we've done a single app? And, oh, Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott. Warm. Warm. One, one, one season. <laughs> um, how, you know, how, how about this? Can we, can we free, reframe to how long has it been since we've done a serious single actor? Fair. Okay. So I, I think, I don't know if it's, um, you know, let me just say that I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a 10. I'm pitching Ryan Gosling movies for us all to watch this season. Oh my God. Dude, Julie's watching Barbie right now. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch The Goss, Yo. man. I want to. I, 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 Barbie was great. I want to watch it again. I want to review it. I mean, like Blade Runner. Uh, he's got to be in bad I mean, movies. Yeah. We got There are some bad movies yeah. probably to, um, to pick from. We we were just talking about this because she wanted me to pitch him so that she could watch a bunch of Ryan Gosling movies. I love it. This guy has insane amounts of bangers. He's one of my favorite actors. Jace, I have yeah. no apprehension. I love him. Of this. <laughs> Dude, yes. Can we? Do, can I wait the wheel? Uh, Gosling's Gorner. <laughs> Gosling. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Let's be clear. He was just recently in the news for accepting an award and only shouting out his wife. Yo, Eva Mendez for taking dope. care of their family, and it made me tear up. It, it's I, I, I haven't he's found a, bro, a single dude. bad thing around about this person. He's Canadian. They're so, they're so nice. He's Canadian, you know. So, <laughs> um, excited. Hell yeah, that's great. Uh, and Jace, I've had Ryan Gosling written with a question mark um, on my giant pitch list. So I, you got my endorsement there. More like uh, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> um, God. Ryan's. Ryan's. We can't do anything with Ryan's. Re- Ryan's rocket shack. I, we can talk about my rocket, but we can't do anything <laughs> with the Ryan. We got to do something with Gosling. Gosling's. I think like is there. Th- there's a goose joke to be made. Can we make a goose joke like the pen? Oh yeah, yeah. Like the the, uh, ooh, the incubator. We had to give a zero. A Gosling goose egg would be uh would be oh, crazy. Oh yeah, 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 Gosling yeah. goose egg. That's not good for Rooms a look. That start. We can with... let's ponder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pondering. Gosling's Garden. That's Garden. Yeah, that's good. Gosling's Garden. Oh my God! Is there a movie where he's like a cool homesteader? Um, the Notebook. Man. Like kind of Sorry, in the Notebook. Man. He kind of does that in the Notebook. Anyways, um, Ryan's Rec Room. <laughs> yeah. Once again, we're gonna run into this problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, great. Great. Ryan. Ryan Gosling. Uh, Ryan, what is your <laughs> See, second pitch? Uh, my second pitch. I I don't remember if this has been done before. I okay. think Denali has pitched this before, but we've actually, I did the math, we've pitched like 54 different things, mm-hmm. so I don't remember. <laughs> Holy fuck. No way. I think it's actually like 48 because we didn't necessarily pitch all that many the first time, so maybe about okay. 50. Right. Um, but yeah, so I don't remember if you guys have pitched Jason Statham. Jason Statham. <laughs> I was no. looking through this guy's movies, and I'm like, some of these are real shit. And they're all identical. Yeah. But oh what got God. me on his page the other day was I saw a review for oh the movie uh, The Beekeeper that just came out. Oh, it's well, a John man. Wick knockoff, but I, instead yeah. of someone killing his dog, they kill his bees. And he goes on a rampage. Wait, bees as in plural, right? And he doesn't kill one of his bees? <laughs> <laughs> that was my he stole his car. Bee. And he squished oh, his bee. My bee. <laughs> 
Okay, um, Jason Statham. Yeah, yeah, he's got Transporter. He's got a ton of... He's got Crank uh, 2. That's where I went to college. I've got a, I've got a battery attached to my nipples every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so fun to impersonate. If, if I, my nipples, I also stop really want to watch Meg seconds. too. I want to watch oh Meg too, you guys. Oh, damn. <laughs> Meg. Uh, and then there's there's Snatch. There's uh, Death Race. Yeah, right. And I was thinking, how much of this is going to be car season overlap? Would this be an oh easy God, transition for us? Be, and I fucking, I feel like yeah. we've been locked in the garage. Hard day's work, sweat on our brow. What's better yeah. than a night out Statham Steakhouse? Statham Steakhouse. Okay, great. <laughs> um, one time I rolled up at the drive-in, and the movie I wanted to watch was sold out for a private party. So we had to go to like the screen number two. And on screen number two was Wrath of Man, a Jason Statham feature. What the fuck? Where is he that? just literally like drives around and beats the fuck out of people. <laughs> and it was actually like a really fun night at the drive-in. It was like the perfect drive-in movie. Um, and I don't know. I just kind of like him. You can kind of just pop on a Jason Statham movie, get yeah. blackout drunk, and wake up in the morning <laughs> and know exactly what happened. Is uh, is this a, this is a stupid question? I don't mean to delay you, Denali, but what yeah. is? Yeah. How yeah. do they do the sound at uh, drive-ins? It's on the radio. Oh, okay. So they pump it through a uh, like a, a shortwave station. Yeah. Huh. Cool. I thought they just blast it so loud that like. 600 cars can hear it. That's right. Well, okay, so my next question was how far away to, to do two drive-in theaters the stage or screens need to be away from each other They're so right that you next can't all hear both movies. Yeah, you can you can see the other cars and stuff. Sounds fun. Okay, the last pitch. Uh the for me the, these are these are movies that could suck in a different way. Um because it's a repitch, uh it's YA adaptations, young adult movie adaptations. Uh, these oh, are movies no. that consist of Twilight, Hunger Games, Divergent, Maze Runner, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Artemis Fowl, Percy Jackson, Aragon, Sister of the Ch- Traveling Pants, The YA Bookshelf. So Tracy when I Wright. said he just wants to watch Twilight <laughs> right. and then he pitched <laughs> right. young adult movies, it it was correct. Cars was pitched twice. Guys, last I, just, I just watched Aragon <laughs> <laughs> like a couple of weeks ago. No. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. You're going to have to. You don't have to do Aragon. There's a shitload of young adult adaptations. Some of these are great movies. Some of these are not great movies. And uh, I think I think this would be a fun foray for us. There's a lot to mine There's here. There's a lot. And I think there is a pattern between young adult, young adult movies, too. Oh, there a are fucking tropes. course, dude. You think? Most love most triangle cringe season, very cringe. Mm-hmm. Cringe I'm thinking about Orson Scott Car or uh, yeah, well, Ender's Game. Ender's Game. <laughs> uh, huh, I like that. YA bookshelf. It's out there. It's on the list. So there we have it, folks. But now it's it's in once again. It's in God's hands. It's in the wheel of chaos. It's not it's not up to us. All right. No matter how bad we want certain things, it's all gonna be out there. Let's take a deep breath. I <laughs> put Dios these Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. I, there's there's some actual trepidation here because I pitched frog movies. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing, <laughs> since I've got the last three seasons, okay. we're giving everybody else's score uh, pitches a normal weight, and but my pitchers are getting half weight. So I, I, I really only have a one in six chance of getting my thing picked because it's too much. You can't do four seasons of Ryan picks. It's too much, we, guys. Then we'd have to enact term limits and shit like that. But yes. you know, we could we could wait it. Is this the solution to we we could we could talk about it later. We're live. We're live on okay, the Okay, let me let me wheel. just see if this is fair. Somebody's okay. dream will get crushed if it lands on frogs. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, let me just let me just keep, don't spin it yet. I just want to look at this just for a second, Ryan. I want to okay. imagine the scenarios and then just make my piece. Everybody okay. uh are you ready to commit the next 4 months okay. of your life okay. to whatever you know this what? lands you know on? What? Yep, yep, yep. This yep, is yep. this is up to the fates. We agreed this is up to the fates. Whatever is picked has been chosen for <laughs> us. We spin it once and that's what it's going to do unless it's frogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my Everybody, god, I regret it. I regret go. it. Five, four. Oh my three, god. Oh my god. Two, oh my lord. One. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. my god. Are you fuck? <laughs> Let's respin. Let's respin. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we can't, no, we can't do this. Okay, it landed on Jason Statham. For the for the audience that is listening along, it landed on Jason Statham. I have not clicked any done or anything. Um, we can change the rules if we want. But did you guys see how fucking close it was to frogs? <laughs> I just got up off the ground. Uh, what the fuck, right? <laughs> Is, is, oh, is it Jesus is it Christ. was it my picks when I used the picker wheel on my computer, and then <laughs> I mean I'm showing you everything I'm sharing the screen. I know. How is it working? Oh my god. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to watch Tim Jason Statham movies. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> Just redo it. One more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, 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 everybody, we're gonna roll. Let's rock and roll, baby. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Three, two, bum, 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 one. Bum, bum. No, why is it so close? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. We were saved. Do we want to watch a- Ryan Gosling movies? I mean, it's so close yeah. to YA. <laughs> oh God. Okay. We, I, I w- we landed. I hit the ground when I saw it. Almost hit Jason Statham. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We were a few pixels away from uh, Jason Statham's season, uh, but the picker wheel oh in its divine God. providence has chosen Ryan Gosling. Okay, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> There's some good movies in there. We could do this. We could do this. <laughs> oh, mother of Jesus. I got to up my blood pressure meds. I can't believe it. It, it, was th- it was this close to frogs and then this close to Jason Statham. And like, Jason, okay. Oh, that would have been um, so fucking good. If it okay. did it twice. Ryan, next, <laughs> or went from Jason to frogs. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, what's if happening? It, if it did Jason again or frogs, I would have been like, we have to do that. Okay, folks, we did it. We're, we're, we're doing Ryan Gosling for season 10, Gosling's Gorner, or, or whatever we decide. I like we can garden, talk about man. it. Gosling's Garden. But folks, we got a lot of bangers. Jace, this was your pick. So you, I believe you get the keys to the vehicle and also, Jace, you haven't gotten a pick in a while, too. I think your drought has been quite some time, hasn't it? Was he not in or... Was Dog um, Movies the last one? Keanu? No, Keanu was me. Was it Holiday Hotel? Oh, Ooh. yeah, season four. For Jace, I'm looking back at the episodes, The Bunker, Institution, Keanu's Kitchen. I'm trying to find the last time we watched a Jace. This, it was 2022 at the beginning, like oh, January shit, 2022. Oh, shit, he's in Drive. He is in Drive. Oh, my God. Another car movie. We started holiday hotel in 2021 wow jesus christ so jace has actually been sitting in the back seat for like three years <laughs> i don't know i don't uh what uh you know yeah i think looks like his breakout i'm on his imdb was remember the titans right mm-hmm. oh and the notebook actually oh the notebook. yeah but the, oh, he was God. the notebook was after a kind of a down is the notebook down good down. i don't think i've ever watched it uh, otherwise and i think we're gonna get to this eventually because it looks okay. wild uh, the United States of Leland, which has what? Ryan Gosling and not Don start. <laughs> we cannot start oh the season with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, th- I think we should start off with the notebook. I think okay. I think people are okay. going to be like, okay. I, I want to pitch be our La La Land, like, but that's yeah. that's that's uh, that's maybe a s- episode two or three. That's a fifty like, fifty percent movie too. You know, he's he's in it. Uh, oh, fuck, these are gonna be these are gonna be enjoyable movies to so watch. <laughs> like, on, a lot of these movies are on my list on letterbox like two of my top four movies are ryan gosling movies so this is gonna be fun join us next week guys we're watching the notebook uh we're doing ryan gosling for 10 episodes we hope you'll join us i think this is gonna be a great season uh watch along who knows follow us on all the shit subscribe to our podcast write a review guys listen We've been at this for a while. Maybe maybe spend a little time typing up a little nice message for us and give us five stars. Please. All right? Please. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for joining us for the car season. We had a great time. And, and with that, Jace, do you want to say something to foray us into Ryan Gosling? I'd do him for a lot more than 10 movies. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> hmm. That's good. <laughs>